Frank Ballone has sponsored and supported every single piece of legislation of importance to the Armenian American community, whether it's focused on genocide recognition or on aid to Armenia. Last year, Congressman Ballone forcefully condemned the wave, wave of large-scale attacks by Azerbaijan against Artsakh and urged the Obama administration and the Minsk Group to demand accountability on the part of Azerbaijan. Just last month, and I have to update this file every year because you do something for our cause every single year, Frank. Just last month, as a House Intelligence Committee ranking member, he provided critical testimony in support of aid to Armenia and Artsakh as the Trump administration released the budget blueprint for fiscal year 2018. We're extremely fortunate to have the steadfast support of such a distinguished representative. Please welcome my congressman, New Jersey Congressman Frank Ballone, to the podium. Thank you, Armin. I often uh, thank you. I sometimes find it difficult when it's such a beautiful day in Times Square in the, uh, the United States uh, where we have so much freedom and the rule of law uh, to be talking on such a day about the horrible events that occurred in 1915. It seems almost inappropriate that we're here on such a beautiful day and occasion and yet we're talking about it. But I really want to stress how important it is that all of you be here and that you be here every year and it's great to see so many people. I, I can't even see the end of the crowd as I look down the street. Because we have to keep reminding and educating everyone, whether it's our relatives, our friends, our colleagues in my case, about the Armenian Genocide. And the reasons for that are many fold, but I do want to say that uh, being here today, I do want to greet you on behalf of the Armenia Caucus, because as Armin said, we have a number of members of Congress, both Democrats and Republicans, who have joined the Armenia Caucus, and I want you to know that a lot of the reasons why we have so many members is because of all of you, the diaspora, that asks their congressman or woman to join us and be part of our effort, not only to try to recognize the Armenian Genocide, but also to do things to uh, be helpful to Armenia and to Artsakh. Because as you know, the United States can make a difference. We hope that the United States can make a difference in terms of providing humanitarian and development assistance, that ultimately we can see recognition of Artsakh, ultimately that we can see a peaceful settlement of the conflict in Artsakh. And all those things will only happen if all of you and your friends and those within the diaspora continue to march, continue to write letters, continue to email, and do all the action-oriented things that you do, including being here today. Now, I want to congratulate you because I do believe that even though the U.S. Congress uh, in the last you know, few decades and the presidents have not recognized the Armenian Genocide, we have to remember two things. First of all, that many presidents, right up to Ronald Reagan and the Congress, for many years after 1915, were fully recognizing the Armenian Genocide. The, the lack of genocide recognition is a relatively recent phenomenon. But you have also been very successful in getting most of the states and most of the major countries of the world to recognize the genocide. So you have had success, even though you may not have had success completely with our Congress. But we are determined we just introduced another resolution from the caucus members. We are determined that at some point, and hopefully soon, we will see genocide recognition by the U.S. Congress. And we will not stop until that happens. But in the meantime, in the 30 or some years that I've been involved in trying to achieve genocide recognition, I've seen tremendous progress in so many ways. More people than ever understand and know about the Armenian Genocide. It's because of your efforts. It's because of the efforts to reach out, you know, intellectually. It's because of the media. It's because of Hollywood. We, many of you, as I came up here today, said to me, have you seen The Promise? I did watch the beginning. I did watch the beginning of it, but then we had to go vote, so I wasn't able to see the whole thing. But we can see a steady progression in terms of not only Americans, but people throughout the world understanding that the genocide occurred and how horrible it was and how it cannot happen again. 
But the problem is the violence, the violence against Armenia and Artsakh does continue. We know that. We know that Azerbaijan continues to, uh, to uh, along the uh, line of contact, continues to fire shots. We saw uh, what I would call a war, not just a skirmish just a year ago. So it's very important to make the point that the genocide, although occurred 102 years ago, there is still a major effort on the part of those in the vicinity of Armenia to be violent, to use violence against the Armenian people, and to try to wipe out uh, the fact that uh, there is Armenia Republic and there is a Republic of Nagorno-Karabakh. And that's another reason why it's so important for us in the caucus and all of you to continue your efforts. But beyond that, I, I, I will conclude with this. You play such an important role, not only in terms of insisting that the Armenian genocide be recognized and that Armenians not continue to be threatened with violence, but also in making the point that genocide, wherever it is, is a terrible thing and that it still exists and it still happens. And there's still people out there who want to use violence as a means of eradicating people because of their religion, because of their ethnicity, because of their uh, beliefs, whatever they happen to be. And so I want you to say that you here to being here today not only help in terms of genoc genocide recognition for what happened in 1915 against the Armenians, but the fact that we as a people and as a world must continue to speak out against genocide wherever it occurs. And so I often say, I, I see our I see our religious leaders here today. You are really doing the work of God, in my opinion. Regardless of religion, you are doing the work of God because you are making it clear that we will not accept genocide wherever it occurs. Thank you again. Thank you, Arnold. Thank you, Congressman Pallone, for your speech and for your consistent efforts on behalf of the Armenian Americans of the Armenian Americans.